Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can show group specific content in LearnDash. And by group specific, what I mean is that LearnDash allows you to create user groups, and they're accessible under LearnDash LMS and then groups. And user groups are a way you can group users together into one of these, and that dictates what courses they're given access to. You can also add group leaders who can do certain things within the group. It can affect things like reporting. And it's a really powerful tool within LearnDash and it affects lots of different things and different plugins use groups and things like that. So if you haven't used groups already, it's definitely worth a look. I've got two groups in here. I've got a January cohort and a February cohort. And what I want to do is show how you can show different content to each of these depending on who, you know, which group they're in. So if a user is in the January cohort, they'd see one thing, but if they're in the February cohort, they'd see something else. And if they're not in either cohort, then they wouldn't see either message. So it's a way to just show specific content to one of these groups. And we're going to use this using a plugin called Cohort Manager. It's one of the plugins that we've developed ourselves at Training Spark and it's available as a premium plugin so i'll put a link to that in the description what i'm intending to do in this video is show a description on one of the courses here so i've got the learn dash 101 demo course set up on here which has lots of lessons and topics and things like that but what i want to do is add a custom description at the top here for the group that's accessing it. So let's say something like welcome January cohort or welcome February cohort. To do this, what I'm going to do is head back to the WordPress dashboard here and then go to cohort manager. And what cohort manager does is it allows you to create workflows. So you can have assign certain groups to certain courses and control the flow of how things happen on that course. And that's typically things like lessons being unlocked, emails being sent to members of the cohort, notifications and things like that. But it does also open up this uh, option of a, a custom content to be shown to that cohort. So I'll just call this one January cohort. And I'm going to say that this is the January cohort and they're accessing the Learn Dash 101 course. And you know, for this, I'm just going to say specific dates and then just create the workflow. I'm going to enable it. And what I was saying earlier is that you can add these things called interactions. So you can say, I want to unlock a lesson, send an email to all learners in the group, send an email to the group leaders, enroll a group onto a different course or unenroll a group from a course. So these are all things you can do as part of this workflow. But the thing I wanted to show you on in the relevance to this video is this show content specific to group. And it says here, use the following short codes to display content that is only specific to the members of the January cohort Learn Dash group. Users outside of this group will not see any content with this in this short code. So if I copy this to the clipboard, what I want to do is edit the home page of this Learn Dash 101 course. So I'm just going to edit that here. And then I'm just going to add my content here, just paste it in. And it's recognized that as a short code. And it's saying for group ID 26590, which is this group. And then you can write the content that appears here. So I'm going to say, welcome January cohort. We hope you like the course and then I was going to update that and if I view the course as an admin I'm not actually in that group so I don't even see that message as an admin but if I switch to a, a learner who is in that and uh, I just got that in the private tab here uh, we can refresh and we see that message welcome January cohort we hope you like the course Likewise, what we're going to do now is create another cohort workflow for the February group. So I'm just going to go to a new uh, workflow here and just call this February cohort. 
And we'll say Fabi Cohort accessing Learn 101. Let's create another workflow here and enable it. And in this instance, we've got a different shortcode here that we can use and copy that to the clipboard. And this will show content that is specific for the February cohort. So I'm just going to add another um, one just below this. And this is a different shortcode here. And this one is going to say, welcome February cohort. Enjoy the course. So a slightly different message for the February cohort. And we can see here what's happening. You have group ID 26590, see this one. Group ID 26595 would see this one. And anyone who's not in either of these groups wouldn't see either. So I'm going to update that and view the course. And as an admin who's not in either of those groups, I don't see anything. If I switch back to my user in the January cohort, all they'll see is the January cohort message. And if I log out and log in as someone in the February cohort, and just go to that course, what we should find is that we see the February message. So there we go, welcome February cohort, enjoy the course. So it's a nice way to personalize the interface for people in different groups. And you might have groups in different companies that might have different you know, phone numbers and things that you want them to contact at certain times or you know, completely different bits of course content that are relative to certain groups. And this is a good way that you can use that. So like I say, I'll put a link to the Cohort Manager plugin in the description. If you do want to try it, we've got a demo at demo.trainingspark.com. You can sign up for that and um, access the demo and uh, you can see the Cohort Manager plugin in action and give it a go. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.